In this video, I will give you a quick review of the USAA insurance and tell you if it's good, if it's easy to get claims, if they have competitive rates, and overall if I would recommend them. Now first of all, you can see you can use it for any of this stuff, so auto loans, getting an auto quote, checking accounts, life insurance, home insurance, health and Medicare, credit cards, home mortgages, renters quote, and you will get USAA perks. Now it's important to mention that not everyone can actually get USAA insurance. You need to have certain requirements, but you can apply to see if you are available to get it. And you can see they are military focused. They claim they're there to help and give back. And in terms of insurance, you can see vehicle, property, life and business insurance. And from here you can click view all and then just select the one that you are looking for. For example, auto insurance, and then you can click auto and then you can get a quote by clicking on it and then you can go through the application process right here to see if first of all you actually meet their requirements and then also their quote now here on reddit on the subreddit r insurance which is usually where you will find people who have a lot of experience and someone asked is usa worth it for example, this person has been a USAA member for almost 40 years and they don't currently have any business with them, but in the past they had life insurance policy and some investments. I've asked them for auto and home quotes probably five to six times over the years, but their rates have never been close to being competitive with other companies. Also, I remember that one time they did not want to quote coverage on my 60 year old house while no other insurer had any issue. Now here is another person we just got out of USAA, they were horrible to deal with when handling our homeowners, we spent thousands of dollars and thousands of dollars and all they do is outsource to third parties where you cannot understand them. This is really how you want to treat your vets, etc. So this person not happy and this person also, in my opinion, it's not worth it, absolutely not, I've been with them 40 years, first 27 years were wonderful, the last 13 years have been increasingly hellish. And literally every time I need to address something, it is a nightmare. And basically they are not happy either. And that is what you hear quite a lot. It used to be good. Now this person says that as well. They have had it for 30 years. But since they switched CEO about five years ago or a little before that even, it's become bad or even garbage as this person says. Save yourself the headache. So many people don't think it's worth it. Run, it's not worth it. USA is terrible. And these are all people who have used it either for a couple of years, but many of them actually for decades. And personally, therefore, I think it's not not worth it and especially if you look at their Trustpilot reviews you can see on Trustpilot they have a horrible score of 1.2 stars out of 5 with over 3000 reviews and 88% 1 star reviews so for example USAA is not for the veteran community I recommend reading some of this but you will see Geico and Progressive also have very bad reviews because often only people who have a very bad experience will leave a review but overall it seems that people don't like USAA but that's the case with pretty much every insurance company out there now on Trustpilot literally every insurance company has about one star out of five so overall USAA it seems to be more expensive and exclusive compared to other insurance companies while you don't get that much back from it and they don't handle claims very well and overall from its reviews I personally wouldn't use it I would go with a different insurance company so that, con so that concludes this USAA insurance review if this review was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.